it's important that we look at conversations surrounding music, entertainment and art, especially in the African space. Today we're going to be speaking to someone who's made her mark all around the continent. Music, they say, is a universal language when speaking to persons from different backgrounds. It'll be hard to convey thought, expression or even a message. However, with the sound of a talking drum, melodious tune, a vibrant guitar or sweet vocals, the barrier of connecting with one's background is all of a sudden gone. Our guest today is a respected drummer with international recognition and performances that have brought her close to varying cultures. I even hear that she's performed before the likes of Stevie Wonder and the Queen of England. I present to you Welcome, um, Ara, who is our drummer today. Good morning and good to have you. Thank you so much. Good morning. Is it true that you performed before the Queen? Oh, definitely I did when she was in Nigeria for the Chogum. Oh. Yes. And how, how was that for you now, hearing that she's passed? Oh, it was really touching. I wish I met her one-on-one -on -one after that too. Interesting. Yeah. Ara, Ara, you know, you, you have such a beautiful gift and talent that Thank you've you. nurtured to bless the world. Earlier today on the show, we talked about, you know, breaching the gender gap. Mm. And you're dominating in a world that is most often you know seen as a male dominated industry sure. how's that been for you being a woman being able to uh, what, what are some of the you know stereotypes you've had to conquer um thank you so much being the very first female talking drummer on the international stage um it, of course naturally um the fear of acceptability was number one for us uh, for me uh, but now i mean fast forward to today we have over 200 female drummers being a pioneer being a pace setter and being able to give a voice to the girl child to say, hey, look beyond your gender, you can do it if you can think it. And being um, a, a very traditional instrument, which of course was the sole preserve of men for centuries, um, by the time I started, everybody was like, okay, what's going on here? Of course, they were so, I was told a lot of things like needs, oh, you know what, you'll not be able to have kids, oh, you know what, if your soup will go sour, you know what, your, some parts of your female, whatever, will not be able to develop properly, but hey, here we are today. I have a wonderful 40-year-old son, and of course, my soup is always sweet. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> you, you talked about you know, young girls, so long as they can think it, they can do it. Can do How it. did you think about talking drum? There's several instruments you could have played. Mm. Why did you choose the talking drum? The talking drum chose me, and I, 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 I dare to say that with all humility. Uh, the talking drum is a very um, uh, spiritual instrument, and um, of course, according to the Yoruba tradition and mythology, um, Ayagalu was a woman. And um, according to His Imperial Majesty, the uh, honor of Ife, my father, uh, during the last Anyagalu festival, he made some you know, deep revelations on why um, Anyagalu chose me and why I came to Ile Ife in the first place to see him, and which translated to me being appointed his cultural ambassador. So the talking drum chose me, and I can tell you that it's been a beautiful journey. It's been a really beautiful one. It's been a really beautiful journey. All right, so now, um Let's talk about, you know, your journey through, you know, being a talking drummer. You've graced several stages around the world. Yeah. You've, you know, graced stages in Nigeria and outside Nigeria. What yeah. would you say have been the most exciting moments for you? I've had loads of exciting moments, but uh, it's difficult to pick just one. Um, every time I have to pick my drum and speak to the world to send a message of love, peace and harmony to the entire world with my drum, promoting my culture, projecting my culture, it's always, always a great moment for me. Well, speak well, let me say that um, performing with Stevie Wonder in Los Angeles on his album some years ago was probably one of the major highlights. Wow, I can't imagine what, what I would do if I were the one in that position. <laughs> I mean, there's, a, there's been a brilliant career behind you, mm -hmm. even right now. Yeah. What are we to expect from Ara? Yes, uh, that brings me to, um, apart from music, every celebrity has a pet project, a, like a, a form of giving back to the society. So I have Inspired Me Academy, a co-inspired me because we're having it in Lagos, and it's for the area boys and girls. I mean, if you look at what happened during the NSAS, the stakeholder youth brought I mean, put together a wonderful, um, well, uh, protest, but this non-stakeholder youth who feel they're not a part of you and I and the society, who feel they have nothing to lose, kind of, you know, disrupted it. So, 10 years ago, I ran into them uh, when my car broke down. But my dialogue with them brought out a, a different aspect that I never knew. Some of them wanted to be, one of them said they wanted to be like Professor Wale Shoyinka. You know, they have dreams, but they, they need a platform. They need you and I to believe in them. Absolutely. And I, I tell you, and um, it's been about almost 10 years, but we were eventually able to get an endorsement letter from the state, from Lagos State, last year, because it's a, it's a project that needs institutional support 
from the government. And I want to seize this opportunity to say a very big thank you to His Excellency, the Governor of Lagos, the Governor of Abadide Sonwolu, for being so thoughtful, for giving us the privilege to right. do this. It shows that he has a heart of gold. It shows that he, he has a, the youth at heart. And we say thank you, sir. God so, well, you. you know, you're doing really great work and well done for that. We're celebrating Nigeria's independence. Nigeria thank is turning 62. We know there are several reasons yeah. why Nigerians might feel discouraged or sh maybe should feel discouraged. Mm. But we want to send a message of hope. Mm. What would you say are some of the things that make you proudest or proud to be Nigerian? What are some of the things that give you hope mm. for this country? Um, a lot of things give me hope. Um, hmm. Nigeria is a great country and I want everyone out there to know that having represented Nigeria numerously on the international stage, yes, they, 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 being a Nigerian, we have resilience, we have that, you know, great spirit, we have, our country is blessed uh, in terms of tourism, our culture, everything Nigeria is blessed. I pray that God gives us leaders who would lead us to the promised land. We have already, yeah. but we just need to look need to inwards, do. yes. Thank you so much, Ara, for your time with us this morning. I'm sure Salge is hanging in somewhere and definitely has something to say. Osalge, over to you. I'm just excited to see her, you know, outfit. You know, and it's not very often that you get to see, um, you know, female, you know, talking drama. I think that's what they are called. Um, Thank you. You know, and someone who's, you know, extremely talented in that regard. So I'm, it's exciting for me, you know, to just see. And I'm super proud. Thank um, you very much. Uh, can, can she do a little bit, a little something for us? You know, definitely. it's a Friday. <laughs> so are you ready to sing? <laughs> All of yes, sing for you. Okay, so let's go. Let's go, sing okay. now. Um. I'm tempted to go and start a career in singing, but I do not want to embarrass my village people, so I will not try that. You have a beautiful voice. <laughs> You're too kind. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ara, for your time. We look forward to enjoying more of your music and your art outside the stage. And we hope that our viewers can connect with us at New Central TV for more behind-the-scene clips here on the show. It's been a delight having you. Thank you.